Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a one brand makeup tutorial featuring All May products. And I was sent some of these products for free um, through Octoly from All May. And I'll like, I'll put little stars down below in the description box, the products that were sent to me, and I'll probably mention it as I use the products. And then other things I went out and bought myself so I could have everything I needed to do a one brain makeup tutorial. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump in. The first thing, and this is something that I bought, this is the All May CC Luminous Primer and it has broad spectrum SPF 15 in it. They had another one that was like a color kind of correcting primer. Um, well, they actually had several different types, but the other one that was in a bottle like this was like, it had little green and like purple kind of beads in it. It was supposed to be like um, brightening and also neutralizing like with green. So I tested this out on the back of my hand yesterday after I bought it and I mean, it seemed, you know, just slightly illuminating, not like super illuminating, but it definitely reminds me of like a sunscreen, which is weird because it only has SPF 15, which isn't like a heavy sunscreen, but I feel like it kind of gave my hand a little bit of like a white cast sort of situation. So, and I feel like putting it on my face and it also feels like a typical sunscreen kind of going on, but... I guess it doesn't feel like super greasy or anything, so that's good. But it's not like the typical illuminating primer that I'm used to because I'm used to those being like super moisturizing. And this one feels a little dry, so this might be a good primer for somebody with like oily skin if they want something a little bit more illuminating. For my foundation, this is another product that I purchased, and this is their TLC truly lasting color 16 hour makeup and I ended up getting the shade buff 140 and I know it was like either last year or it may have been the year before that I know that some people were like raving about this foundation and I think even some of you guys told me to go out and get this so this shade was like the closest match to my skin tone it was like the most yellow um, undertoned of the ones that they had that was lighter um, cause the lightest one was like a really, it looks more of like a pink undertone, which I have a feeling that this shade and buff might be slightly a little dark. So we'll just see. Um, but I don't know, it might match and it does seem like a thicker foundation. So I'm just going to do a few little dots of it and then I'm just going to use my dampened real technique sponge to blend this out. But I'm applying these products kind of late in the day today, like it's already 4 o'clock. Um, so I'm trying to hurry up and get this video filmed before Josh gets home from work. Um, so I'll definitely have to wear these products other like days, especially this foundation, because this is the very first time I have used this foundation or the primer. Um, to let you guys know like how it wears and stuff, because obviously I'm not gonna have it on my face very long today but I'll try to annotate it in the video because obviously I will have worn it other days before I get this video up and this shade does seem like it matches me okay I'll have to see if it oxidizes but at least just on first application it seems you know like it the shade works well And I was feeling super like spring and summery, so I put a tank top on today, this pretty coral. This is probably one of my favorite colors of all time. So first impression wise, I do like this. I think it is a pretty foundation. And it's not super dewy, it's not super matte. And I don't know if maybe it looks a little bit more dewy because of the luminous primer. So I'll have to use it some without that as well and see you know, how that works. Now, I also picked this up on my own yesterday. Um, this is their Smart Shade Skin Tone Matching Concealer. It says it's new and improved, and I picked up the shade 101 Lights. So, that's what it looks like. And it says it instantly transforms into your ideal shade with light to medium coverage. 
conceals minor imperfections on the face and dark under eye circles. Provides easy, buildable coverage for a natural looking skin. I'm always on the hunt to find that perfect concealer for my under eye area. So I think I'll just, it comes in a tube like this where you squeeze it up. Okay, and it's like white. I don't want to apply too much of it at first, so I'll just put a little bit of it. And then I'm just using my dampened, this is like the Real Techniques blush sponge. I can't, I don't know exactly what it's called. Okay, it definitely also seems to have a little bit of like a brightening effect to the under eye area. I'm just going to apply it to one under eye first and then we'll compare to the one without concealer. It looks kind of white at first. I'm sorry if my mirror is blocking anything. I mean, I don't feel like this is as hydrating as I would like for it to be on the under eye area because I feel like it's kind of accentuating some dry areas that I have on that part of my eye. And I don't feel like it has a ton of coverage. Like, I mean, this eye does seem a little bit more bright, but it's not like a huge difference between the eyes. So I'm going to try to use my finger to apply this over here. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely kind of thick at first. Yeah, so I feel like I'm going to have to kind of play around with that concealer. They also had another concealer that was like um, kind of for acne prone skin to help kind of clear up acne. And I thought that something like that would probably be drying on the under eye area. So I figured I'd give this stuff a try. But I have to say, first impressions was, I'm not impressed with this concealer. It's just kind of, I don't know. It's kind of different, <laughs> and yeah, so. I don't really feel like it has a lot of coverage. Okay, so for a finishing powder, I ended up picking up this. This is their loose finishing powder. And it says, no shine, all you. And I got the shade 100 light. Has a little puff. This looks like an old school, like, loose powder. Now I'm just going to dump a little bit of this in the lid. And this is like a tinted powder. Like, it does look like it has probably a little bit of coverage to it. So... I'm going to try to be sparing with it and not apply too much. It's so weird with that concealer, but it's like still has like a white tint to it. Like it hasn't really adjusted to my skin tone, I don't feel like. Which I feel like it just causes my under eyes to look even more shadowy. So not a fan of that concealer. I might be taking that back. Okay, yeah, I like that powder. I definitely like the powder in the foundation. This powder might also be a great product to kind of use as like by itself, kind of like mineral makeup sort of. So I'll have to try to use this on like a day when I'm not wearing foundation, see how that goes. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. And this is a product that All May did send to me for free to review. And this is their brow, brow, <laughs> brow Styler product. And I wanted to actually get this in a tint. This one is just the clear. They have this in like a light brown and I think like medium brown or brown, something like that. But they, whenever I requested to review this on Octoly, they didn't have that available anymore. They just had the clear. So I figured I'd give the clear one a try. Now, I have used this clear brow gel one other time before, and I did like it. So, that's why I'm curious to kind of try out one of their tinted ones. I like the brush on this. It's very, like, thin, easy to apply the product, and I did feel like it kept my brow hairs in place all day long. So, I do like that product. And then, um... 
All May, at least at Walgreens, I could not find a bronzer from All May, so I guess I'm not going to be bronzing today, but I did get a blush, and I picked up this one. I thought this looked pretty. This is their Powder Blush Smart Shade in the color Coral. So I'm just going to swirl all these colors together. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty color. It's not super intense but it looks like a good coral. Definitely a really pretty coral. They had another one that was like pink and one that was a mauve. And they may have actually had another one, but they were sewed out of that. And this does look like to be somewhat of an illuminating sort of blush. Not like super illuminating, but a little bit. Um, so yeah, I do like that. And then for a highlight, I ended up getting this jelly highlight. This is Make Them Jelly Highlight Illuminator. And it's in the shade Unicorn Light, which maybe this is where I messed up. <laughs> but this stuff is like straight up glitter. Like it's a very glittery highlight and I swatched this on the back of my hand right after I got it and I don't know like I don't know if I even want to try this because it is straight up glitter it's not even what I would consider a highlight like I feel like on camera I don't know if you're going to be able to tell let me do a better swatch like I feel like on camera it's probably not going to look glittery, but it has straight up glitter in it. So maybe for the sake of this video I'll use it, but I kind of feel like I'm not going to like this and I'm probably just going to take it back. So yeah, I mean it's just straight up glitter when you go to put it on your face. So, I mean, I guess if you were like younger and you don't, or if you don't mind like glitter on your face, maybe you would like this highlight, but I am not a fan. So this is definitely going to be going back to Walgreens um, if they'll take it back. And I know that they had some other highlighting products there, so I should have gotten one of those, but yeah, I just thought I would take a risk on this and it didn't pay off. <laughs> So I feel like that and the concealer is going to be going back because don't like either of those products. Moving on to, I guess, the lips. I'll go ahead and do my lipstick. So All May sent these two lipsticks to me in Skip the Gym and Go Wild. So Skip the Gym is kind of a corally um, metallic shade with like a gold like shift to it kind of like NARS orgasm so I mean I've never purchased or swatched NARS, NARS orgasm lipstick but I feel like that looks like the blush so I could see where that would be similar to probably the lipstick and then this color in go wild is just a matte like a a matte just like nude pink color which is really pretty. I mean, honestly, I like both of these lip colors. I think they're really beautiful. And I've worn the Go Wild in a video before, so I think I might wear Skip the Gym. Um, and I actually skipped the gym today because in my last Get Ready With Me, I told you guys I'm just going to line my lips with the NYX. Um, this is a not an all made product, but this is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Sandstorm. Um, I don't even know if All May has lip liners. They probably do, but let me just line my lips and then I'll, I'll get in to skip the gym. And then I'm just applying Skip the Gym lipstick. And then they also sent me these lip, um, these goddess glosses in the color Cosmic and Magic. But I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Cosmic on the center of my lips. I 
this is a really pretty gloss. The only thing I do not like about this is if you use it on its own, it can leave like little pieces of glitter behind, like make your lips look all glittery. And I'm not like the hugest fan of that. But I do think that both of these colors are really beautiful. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes. And I guess since, you know, I didn't get any other eyeshadows, all I have are their cream shadows. I guess I'll use their blush in the crease of my eye, um, you know, to give a little bit of a transition color. So I'm just gonna swirl all these colors together and just apply that to my crease. But, and I guess I'll zoom in a little bit, a little closer. But yeah, yesterday, like I was telling you guys in my other um, Try to Get Ready With Me video, I like told you guys that I was having trouble with my foot, my ankle, Achilles tendon area. So, and I was going to the doctor yesterday. So I went to the doctor and she said that I have tendonitis in my Achilles tendon and it's gonna take six to eight weeks to heal. So I'm not gonna be able to do like a whole lot at the gym. And I think I was just like a little irritated today about the whole situation. Plus I wanted to give my leg, not really my leg, but my foot a break. So I just didn't go to the gym today. So I skipped the gym. <laughs> um, so for my eyes, I'm going to use these Alme Velvet Foil Cream Shadows. Now Alme did send these to me for free to review. And I have been enjoying these things so much. I think they are so beautiful. I want to go out and buy some of the other colors. I tried to find them at Walgreens yesterday, but they didn't have any of them at my Walgreens. So I don't know if it's something that's just only sold at like Ulta or something because I did look on Ulta's website and they sold them on Ulta. So I don't know, I'll have to look into it. But I'm just gonna first go in with the shade Cupid's Bow or Cupid's Bow. I think this is called Cupid something. Cupid Glaze. And I'm just applying that with a shader brush on my eyelid. This look is definitely going to be really peachy today. Very coral. Spring appropriate. But this is just a beautiful shadow like to just put all over your lid and just be out the door. It's a good like one eyeshadow look. One and done. And it's long wearing. I don't have any issues with it creasing or anything throughout the day. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this one called Endgame, which is a bronze. And honestly, you need the littlest amount of these things. A little bit goes a long way. And I feel like I got a little too much on my brush. I'm just going to put a little bit of that there and then just use like a blending brush to blend it out a little bit. I'm just going to use this one. This is the Morphe E36. Gonna smudge that out. Josh should be home any minute now, so I'm gonna try to hurry up with this tutorial before he gets home. Just so we can have dinner before he has to head off to school. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of that color in end game and just smudge it like right here on the lower lash line. Now they did send two eyeliners for me to try out. Their eyeliner crayon contour pencil and their liquid liner, which is in this container here. 
Now, I do not care for this liquid liner because I don't like the applicator on this. It's a very like stiff applicator. I don't know, I'm just not a fan of that. So I might go in with this pencil liner today and just kind of do something a little bit more smoky and kind of smudge it out. Cause I have yet to use this. And I know like back in the day before I, you know, was on YouTube and stuff like in high school or whatever, I used to love all my eyeliners. I had a couple of them and I just really liked them. It's been forever since I have used all my products, you know, before, you know, I picked these up and they sent those to me. Okay. I feel like that eyeliner worked out all right. And this is one of those uh, mechanical pencil liners. I used to really like their bronzy kind of brown eyeliner and they had one that was called like Raisin Quartz or something. I think one was called like Topaz Quartz and the other one was called Raisin Quartz and those were like my favorite like colored liners to use back in the day. I just really liked those. I don't know if y'all remember those. It's like they had the collection where it was supposed to be geared towards different eye colors. I feel like the left eye was a, is a little bit more smudgy and smoked out than this right eye. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit of this and kind of connect it up top on the lower lash line, but just kind of on this outer corner. Okay, so like, I feel like for a pencil liner, that was not bad. I hope my camera was in focus and everything and that I wasn't out of frame while I was applying that. Just smudge this out a little bit. I feel like it's so weird for me to not do winged liners. Whoops. To do winged liner sometimes. It's just so awkward. I'm just gonna curl my lashes up. Now I have used this mascara before at least one other time and I was not super impressed by it. So I don't know, maybe it'll be one of those mascaras that the more I use it, the better I'll like it. Cause you know, it's like sometimes you can't really judge a mascara by first application, like the first time you use it because some mascaras just get better over time, you know? Okay, so I will say I do like this mascara a little better this time around. So maybe it's going to be one of those mascaras that just gets better with age. Um, so yeah, that is this one brand all May makeup tutorial completed. I hope that you guys did enjoy this because I know I've had several of you all ask me to do an all May one brand makeup tutorial in the past. And then a few other things that all May did send, send me to try out for free. Um, is their So Basic Makeup Remover, like little cleansing towelettes. I've used these a couple of times. They're okay. I mean, they're not horrible, but they're just all right. And then they have their makeup eraser sticks, which I'm definitely going to use these in a tutorial. I have yet to use these, but you guys know that I'll use like a Q-tip with makeup remover on it to clean up any fallout or to just like clean up the edge of my eyeshadow. So I think these could definitely come in handy. And then they also sent me some of their eye makeup remover like little pad things. Thank you so much to Ame for sending me a lot of the eye and lip products for free to test out. And <clears throat> there's definitely some things that I do like, but then there's other things I'm not as crazy about. So yeah, I'll definitely be keeping you guys posted on these items and definitely if they become favorites they will be in future favorites videos or I'll definitely mention them again. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know to do more one brand makeup tutorials for you guys. I hope that you all have a great day and I will see you all in my next one. Bye-bye.